Well, school officials are trying to ease parents' concerns tonight about how they handled a threat at Fern Ridge Middle School. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. And I'm Matt Templeman. KZI 9 News reporter Tyler Jones shows us why parents are so upset and what the district is saying about how they handled it in our top story tonight. Parents of students here at Fern Ridge Middle School say they're concerned, not just because this incident happened at their school, but also because of the time between when the incident was reported and when they first heard about it. I didn't know about it until this morning, so I'm furious. Many Fern Ridge Middle School parents told me they feel the same way. Administrators became aware of the threat on Monday, about a week after a student said he wanted to shoot up the middle school. But parents didn't find out about it until Thursday evening. Well, here's the deal. They didn't send out the letter. They give the letter to the kids to give their parents. And I very rarely see my kids' homework unless I ask. Heather Bewley says her son knows the boy that made that threat, but her son didn't take it seriously. He thought the kid was joking. This is no joking matter whatsoever. Superintendent Gary Carpenter says the school district talked to the student and he admitted to talking about shooting up the school but wasn't threatening anyone specifically. They called his parents and they voluntarily pulled him from school to get him the help he needs. In a post on the district website, Carpenter says in part, quote, I can assure folks the following. The FRSD school board is fully aware of the specifics of this case, and I am confident the district's response was swift, appropriate, and at no time after being made aware of the threat were students in danger. Two parents I spoke with don't want to be identified because they're involved in other issues within the district, but say parents had to contact law enforcement and the Department of Human Services to get them involved in the situation because the district hadn't done so at that time. We would like to see protocols change here and statewide to to be the same, that all school districts know that when they have a threat like this, that they are to call in law enforcement, that they are to call in DHS, they are to come in and do their evaluations. They have the trained personnel to do this. Superintendent Gary Carpenter says not just in this case, but any case similar to this one, if a student were wanting to come back to the school district, they would have to meet with police and counselors to make sure the family and student have had done everything that was necessary to make sure that student got the help they need. In Elmira, Tyler Jones, KEZI 9 News.